Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, Are You Dating Someone Selfish? Are You Dating Someone Selfish? And some of you all, you may know already, but others you may not know, and this is why you're listening to this message. I do have a number of uh, articles as well as books that I've written on dating, and every now and again, I have to check in with my singles on a number of different topics because I know that they are praying for the one. They're praying for the one that God has ordained for uh, his or her life, okay? But sometimes what happens is there are those who are very quick to get into relationships and when they are rushing some things, they also overlook signs that someone is very much selfish, conceited, prideful, okay? And then they end up experiencing much difficulty later. Then they will go ahead and get married only to experience more drama. And then they will contemplate on divorcing and some will actually divorce only to go back into the dating pool and do it all over again. And some of you all, that's just what you have done. So let's check in. Let's check in with the almighty God. Let's talk about what his will is for you. And let's also not overlook the signs that someone is selfish, okay? Because a selfish person can wreak havoc on your life. I know from personal experience, and I feel that the Lord has moved upon me to share uh, some of my experience with you listeners so that you don't fall into the trappings of the enemy, People who are selfish carry all sorts of spirits. A lot of times these spirits are unchecked. Okay. These are spirits that they have carried from their previous relationships as well as the stuff that they have experienced between parents, grandparents, guardians, and whoever else who have raised them. Some of this stuff is quite dysfunctional. They will appear to be children of light but will turn out to be children of darkness if they claim to have some type of faith. That faith may be a faith that believes in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or some other kind of faith. But then, upon closer inspection, as you learn more about them, you find out that your belief system doesn't necessarily go along with their belief system. And what you choose to do Uh, During your spiritual time, they are opposed to it. And so you will fight up against that spirit and that spirit within them is going to say you need to go along with this if you want a relationship with me. And if you don't go along with it, then they will uh, either go elsewhere or they will try to recruit you onto their side. So if they don't believe in God and church and all of that. Um, all like that, then they are going to eventually get you not to be into God in church and uh, reading the word and anything else that you do to uplift yourself spiritually. Why would they encourage you to do these sorts of things when they are walking away from the Lord or have never walked with the Lord? You see, this is why you don't waste time being with people who you are unequally yoked with. Well, maybe they'll get right with the Lord. Maybe they won't. So the other thing that we need to look at when it comes to selfish individuals is, are they often trying to get out of paying for things or they want to do things, but they do them cheaply? Okay. Uh, You are going in half on this, right? You are going out and buying this because, you know, I'm short of cash. Uh, I did buy that the last time. What you expect me to buy that again? Okay. Little subtle signs. They might say these things with a smile on their face. They might even joke a little bit, but at the end of the day, you can see that they are very guarded about their money. And if they're guarded about their money, they might be guarded about some other things like the information that they are sharing with you. Are you in a relationship? Uh, No, no. I mean, there's people who I'm interested in, but no. And then you find out that there's that one that's calling quite often. Uh, Did you take care of your paperwork with your last 
partner. Oh, we're still deliberating about some things. Well, maybe it's not a good idea for us to date. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, we're going to get everything taken care of. Don't worry about it. I mean, I really like you and I don't want you to leave. I mean, let's work on some things between us and I'll take care of that. Don't you worry about it. Okay. Uh, but then you find out that there's some other things that's going on and you find out that it's all wrapped up into what he wants or what she wants. Okay. And you are to just sit in the background and just watch the movie play out. Okay. The selfish individual has selfish needs and those selfish needs are going to be met. At least that's what they're hoping from this person and from that one and whatever they're mixed up in or connected to. Then when their selfish needs are not met, they may take out their uh, disappointment on you. They may even blame you. Well, I could have got this and I could have got that if it wasn't for you. Well, wait a minute. You told me that you loved me or you liked me or you wanted me around. You see, selfish people have their hidden agendas. They're not going to come out and tell you everything, even though it sounds like they're quite tra transparent, but they got their agendas and they want to make sure that you are going to follow suit with whatever it is that is on their mind, on their heart, on their spirit. So if I want to be a pastor, you're going to go along with it. No, you're not into pastors. Oh, OK. Out you go. I want to run a church or I want to build a business or I want to fly and go all over the world. Are you going to do that? Are you going to be a part of that, too? Well, if you're not, maybe I can convince you. Maybe I can persuade you because I need some help. My money can't pay for my dreams alone. Right. So you're going to support those dreams. And so selfish people will say things to make it look like you're going to benefit when maybe you're not. Selfish people will look and see what you already have. And they're going to see if they're going to get something out of what you already have. So if you already have a good job and you make more money than me, then you're going to be able to help me with X, Y, and Z. If you have a lot of things already established or you have connections to people who have a lot of things established and you're going to get some money from those individuals, then maybe you're going to help me. You see, selfish people are always looking, looking for that opportunity, looking for the benefit, looking for what you can do for me, even though they're giving very little to the relationship. Or maybe they start off giving much, but then start to slowly but surely take away some things. Sometimes they're taking away some things because they realize that you might be on to what they're up to. So they are worried that you're going to eventually break up with them. So that's why they're going to pull back on some things. Uh Oh, she figured me out. <sighs> so I'm going to have to start putting my money away so that I can be able to survive when her money runs out. Or when she takes her money away or if she has a better opportunity and she doesn't want me to go along with it. So, yeah, I got to start chucking this money away. I really made her angry this time and she knows it. So you see, selfish people are looking at how are you going to help me with the children? How are you going to help me with the stepchildren? How are you going to help me with the adopted children? But there's children, there's children involved, whether they are between you and that individual or not. OK, sometimes the dating that's going on are people that used to date, uh, used to have families, used to have all sorts of stuff. But now they are reconciling. And so they're going through this courtship, if you will. OK, so I wanted to address those folks, not just the singles. And these individuals have their motives. I need help with these kids. I need help with this mortgage. I need help with all sorts of things. So maybe we do need to reconcile. Maybe we do need to get back together so that we can get some things paid off. And when he acts up again, okay, well, he's out the door. But at least I got all this stuff paid for, you see. Oh, yes. Hidden agendas. Selfish people are filled with their share of demons. They may even say it. I got my share of demons. And so what do we do? We're supposed to, as believers, cast out demons in Jesus' mighty name. By the authority given to you through Christ Jesus, you should be able to lay hands on somebody while they're sleeping <laughs> or even while they're creeping 
and uh, asking Jesus mighty name to cast out those demons. Now, a person who has made up in his or her mind to be focused on you and only you, they're going to go all the way with you. They're going to go all the way to that altar. But somebody who still got one foot over here with Susie, Pam or Rick or Joe. No, I'm still on the fence. I don't know about all that marriage commitment. Mm -mm. They're going to not uh, go all the way. They're just not. Nope. That's not me. That's not what I want. I'm not ready. I'm got I, I got my share of issues because of past things that have taken place. No. Mm -mm. OK, you got to watch for those signs where people are not serious about a relationship. They are going to him and haw, come up with some excuses as to why. Nope, this is not going to work. OK, they may even tell you that. Why are you wanting to get married? You know, marriage is ending divorce. OK, that is a red flag. I know someone said that to me. But I, would, I was the convincer, the persuader. Let's just go ahead on and do it anyway. I mean, we're, we've got babies. We've got this. We've got that, right? That's not any good reason to be getting married, especially, especially to someone who has clearly told you in so many ways they don't want to be married. Okay? But yet, folks will go ahead and say, but it's a good thing. And I want to be there for you. And I know you want to be there for me. And it sounds good. And it's very much like a Hollywood movie. But then <laughs> the story, the fairy tale starts to unravel. Okay. The enemy is going to use these people to hinder you in some way. If they are not ready, if they are showing that they are very much into themselves, I love me. I think I'm fine. Yes, you are, baby. You're fine. But did you just hear what he said? He knows he's fine. He doesn't need you to validate him. Okay. He thinks he's so fine that you don't deserve him. She thinks that she's so fine that <laughs> you're lucky to have somebody like me. Uh Oh, red flag. You know how many men are out here? That don't have the kind of money I have. Uh oh. You know that you can. <laughs> you are blessed to be with a righteous man. You know how many women want to be with a pastor. With a deacon. With an evangelist. An apostle. Girl. You better know. Wow. Very vain. Very conceited. And very much going to be brought down low. Because when you wake up and you finally see the movie, if you are dealing with somebody like this, you're going to stop all of that complimenting. You're going to stop running around telling people what uh, what good man you have or what good woman you have. You're going to stop with that foolishness because here's what they do. They end up taking all of that. And as my grandmother once said, they wash your face with it. See, <laughs> you love me. You love me a whole lot. And then they walk all over you. You need me because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have this and you wouldn't have that. Well, that's why I serve an awesome God. That's why I'm trusting in the one true God. Nope, I don't have to continue to date you. No, I do not have to continue to contemplate on marrying you. Matter of fact, uh, let me see. There's some other guys that I always wanted to date. Matter of fact, there's some other females that I could be with. I don't have to be with you. You see, they have their share of items in their hand and they don't want to help you obtain some items. OK, they make sure that their household and everything is taken care of. But when you ask them to help you, they say they don't have time. They don't mind asking you for money. But when you need some money, they say, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You see. They can do for their children, but they're not going to help you do for your children. You ask them for a little support. They say, oh, sorry, I already bought for mine. You see, selfishness. You want them to show up at a special event or you invite them and they say, oh, no, I'm busy that day or I got this to do or I got that to do. OK, so you're understanding the first time. Then you ask again, then you ask again and again and again. And still, they never want to show up and they never really want to communicate as to why they don't want to show up. OK, 
They want you to be a part of their family functions, but they don't want to be a part of your family functions. All of these signs happen early on. And if you don't see selfishness early on, once again, you're going to have your share of problems with this individual long term if you should be committed to him or her. Sometimes selfishness shows up. In the most unlikeliest ways, like when somebody loses a job, now you get to see how they really are. Or when they lose a family member or friend. Or when they have no time for you, but they got time for everyone else. Or when they can be very respectful and kind and sweet, but then act very ugly and dark and strange with you. Uh, With a little niceties peppered here and there. So when your eyes are open, especially to messages like this, this is the time to pray about that person as well as you ask the Lord to guard your heart, because that's what we're supposed to do. Ask the Lord to give you the courage, give you the will to move slowly, not quickly with this individual. Cancel all plans for marriage. If you have yet to marry this individual, instead, seek some counseling for yourself for yourself not counseling for one another because you got enough signs that show that this person's selfish but counseling for you because you need to figure out some things about you why is it that you attract people like this because chances are this isn't the first person that you attracted that's selfish but you probably have a track record of attracting others because you grew up among among people who are selfish okay If you have committed some sinful acts and you believe in a righteous God, you know, as a believer, you are to confess sin and repent and ask for forgiveness. Okay. also, you need to rededicate your life to Christ, possibly, because maybe this person has pulled you away from Christ through all of the sexual activity, as well as other immoral types of things. So get back right with the Lord. Knock off some of that worldly stuff, worldly entertainment, worldly activities. Um, lustful things and whatever else that you're into with this individual and get back right with the Lord. If you haven't accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, I suggest that you do so because it is through Jesus that you will be able to withstand all of the fiery darts of the enemy. Okay, you are to have that spiritual armor on because these people come in number. Okay, we're not talking about a selfish person here and there. We're talking about selfish people are in great number nowadays because the Bible even says that in the last days, men as well as women will be lovers of themselves. Okay, and a lot of these people, they lack empathy. They're not very compassionate toward others, especially when you're going through much. They're once again saying, are we going to go here? Are we going to do this? Are you going to be there for me? Uh What about sex? We haven't had sex in a while. I'm going through something right now. I know that, but when are you going to get over it? Wow. You see? And uh, these people, they, of course, love their money and they love spending yours as well. Okay? Pay attention to those signs. All right. Well, that is it. Blessings to you. Please do check the description box for anything that is of interest. You've been listening to YouTube NM Enterprise 7. To God be the glory. We do accept donations, so if you would like to give, by all means, please do. Blessings to you.